Hello, this is a quick video that I am filming for a viewer who was asking questions about another TomTok. Did I say that right? TomTok bag that I purchased several months ago. At the last minute, I decided to switch it out for a different one. I do like this company a lot. So here's one of their um, the travel backpacks that I will be doing a more in-depth review on. Here's their sling, one of their slings. And then here's a smaller sling. This is not a fanny pack, it is a sling. Okay, so anyway, got these for Christmas, but the one I'm going to be talking about really quick right now is this one. So I replaced the gray or charcoal TomTok laptop bag with this one. It's a lot thinner than the other one, but it's a little bit limited on how it holds things. I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So here is the sleeve. You can see inside there's a nice soft material so it won't scratch up your 16 inch macbook pro that's what i have there is a little pocket right here in the back here's another thing there's only one zipper per pocket okay so there are no dual zippers on this bag this is important to note for me um not too crazy about that but anyway here's the one pocket right here the big pocket in the front Here's what it looks like. It's a little sleeve here. And there's that, okay? So we have that. And then the other pocket is right here. That's better. The other pocket is right here. It's got some things in there. But you see there's a little spot for pins. And then, um, I don't know what you want to slide in there. Maybe some readers. And then you can slide some things in here. And then this is obviously, I think they were supposed to have a little key thing on here. But I could be wrong, but this is how it came. So I might need to mention that to them. And then, once again, you've got the sleeve in the back, okay? So that's it for the bag. It's a very simplistic design. It's got this handle up here. Now, if I had it my way, I would get the one that has the gray handle if I could, but you can't get the one with the dark gray handle, which makes this bag look a lot better and doesn't have the, I don't think it has the orange Tom Tock here. I think it's more of a charcoal kind of color, but then you lose these. So you won't have these. And if you, if you look closely, you see that one loop is here and the other loop is right here on this and it makes it to where when you are wearing this bag it is very comfortable it stays on you really well so here is the side view with the bag on this is with me hanging it over the opposite shoulder i'll show you what it's like when you're just holding it on the side i really like the way they put these loops this way so that you don't have to worry about it, it really rides well on you and it's not pain to carry it the shoulder pad is also very comfortable, just like it was with the other TomTok bag. You've got this handle here to keep it in check, but I prefer to wear it around the neck. That way you don't have to worry about it sliding off of your shoulder and hitting the ground. This is what it looks like from the side. It's a really good bag. Every time I use this with my computer, I don't get any scratches and it looks like something was on there and it got dirty in there somehow. But anyway, this is a great daily carry for work when I have to leave the house with the computer. Okay, so here is the 16 inch M2 MacBook Pro. It shouldn't matter which one it is because as far as I know, they're all the same, M1, M2, M3 Pro. But look at that, it's like the perfect fit. This is me not messing with it. It fits in there perfectly. It's got this thing called uh, corner armor technology says it right here, there's a little tag. But yeah, you can barely fill the corners here. I'll go on and take it out of the bag. Once you put it in there, it's in there really, it's really snug in there, but the more you take it, put it in and take it out, it's it gets easier every time. But yes, in the beginning, it's almost like you squeeze it in there and then getting it out, it just doesn't seem to wanna come out smoothly. But over time, you know, I've been using this now for right around a month or so or, yeah, I mean, I'm 
definitely keeping the bag. It's a keeper. In comparison to the charcoal one, which you guys saw the other video about, I do like that one a lot. Uh, this one has been in the elements. It got in, you know, I was walking from out of a building and going back to the car and the rain started coming down and it got on this thing and it did not get soaked with rain. It was really good about repelling the rain. So I would recommend this bag for that. Like if you just want a slim everyday carry bag, here's just another shot of the pockets, what they look like, you know, what you can get in there. I'm sure you guys are wondering, can I get an iPad into this pocket? Let me test that out really quick. So there you have it. It will not fit and it won't fit like this either. However, it is important to note that the iPad will fit in here. So I imagine that would also work for even, perhaps even a larger, maybe a 13 inch Pro. I wouldn't push it, but here's what it looks like standing up in that sleeve. So you can't stand it vertically in there and expect it to not move around, but you can put the iPad in the sleeve like this. It's not gonna get scratched up and you can put it there and it'll be nice and sleek. It will work with an iPad. So you can put the iPad there. And of course, as you know, have the computer here. So if you were thinking, hey, I'll just slide my iPad in this pocket, it better be an iPad mini because that's not gonna work otherwise. This is my son's iPad mini. And just want to show you, it's in the case, of course. So there it is. Okay, so there you have it. iPad mini will fit. This one here, sure, you can put your, any type of large phone, Pro, Pro Max, whatever, that's gonna fit or a note or one of those kinds of phones like that's really big those any of those or all of those should fit here but this will not take the ipad a regular ipad so it's only going to take an ipad mini if you want to put one in there but that's it one zipper per pocket all the way around for every pocket on this bag once again computers inside you can see what it looks like it holds the computer in there really well, so you probably wouldn't have to worry about it slipping out of the bag, but I'm gonna take a chance and just do it. So here I'm lifting the bag right now. The zipper is all the way, it's open, okay? It is not letting go. My fingers are right here. I will grab it like this and oops, it's not coming out. So that is another good feature of this bag. It really holds onto the computer quite well. And if it were to drop, not too far, this little border or this barrier of protection will keep the computer from getting banged up. It's a good bag. And in comparison to the charcoal one that I decided to uh, let go of and go with this one, um, I think that's still a great bag. And I think if you need to carry a, a few more things and you want a little bit more wiggle room to carry those things, then that is your bag except for that little front zipper on the on the front of the charcoal bag. You guys can watch the other video. I'll put a link here for it. But other than that, this one is pretty cool. This is a great daily carry bag. I do recommend it if you want one. If you want it from Tom Talk, they, have, they always have great specials at amazon.com. I'll put the links in the description. This channel covers all things consumer. If we had to narrow it down, definitely tech and auto, but I have a lot of experience with a lot of things as many consumers do, and I do care to share them with all of you to help everyone. So that is the main purpose of this channel is to help people. So if you found this information helpful, you know what to do. Thank you for watching, and I will have another video out to you soon.